Bwana asifiwe. It's yet another morning that God has gifted us with the gift of life. And we are here to uplift him high and to give thanks unto him. Let us pray so that we can hear his word. Heavenly Father, we thank you because of this new day that you have given unto us. We worship your holy name, Jehovah Father. And as we prepare to hear from you, Jehovah Father, I pray that God, you may make our hearts Jehovah Redeemer, and you may talk to us. And that God, your blessings will be upon us in everything that we do this day. For this we pray, believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. Today we are going to hear the word of God from the book of Luke, chapter number 21. And I want us to think about, or to think about this word from verse 10 going to verse 19. And when you read this word, you will come to understand that this was a time that Jesus was talking to the disciples about the hard time that they will go through because of him. And I want you to ask yourself or to meditate and ask yourself when you as a Christian, when you as a born again Christian was put in a test or got yourself in a situation that you are confused on what you are going to do. That you are confused on, another, on the other step that you are going to make. Because you never know how. I want you to remember the day. That you stood with the truth. The day. That you stood in faith. And said that you will stand with faith for your salvation. Because the word tells us that nations will rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom. And that there will be great earthquakes in various places and, and famines and pestilences. And there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. As the word is telling us, many are times when things go astray, many are times that things turn against us, and you feel like everything that you try, you see that nothing is working. But the word of God today is assuring us, is promising us, that when we trust in God, that when we stand with our faith, when we stand with truth, when we walk in the light, and when we proclaim and say that God or Jesus is God, things will go and God will fight for us. It doesn't matter or it doesn't care it doesn't matter the challenges that you are going through. It doesn't matter the people who are against you or the people that you see that they should be helping you but they are turning against you. But the thing is, when God is on our side, when God is in your, on your side, you are going to win. We are going to win. Because he is promising us that even if we are hated by all, just because of his name, just because of his sake, he is telling us that not even a hair of our heads shall be lost. Hallelujah. This is a promising, this is a, this is a strong one. That even when people turn against you, just because you stood with truth, just because you said that you are going and you are not going to betray your God. Just because you said that you know God's commandment. That whatever your friends want you to do and it's against God's will. And you are not going to buy that. God is telling you and is promising you 
that even if they plan your even if they plan your end there is nothing that will succeed there is nothing against you that will succeed that is the word of god that is promising us in this chapter verse 18 but not a hair of your head shall be lost why your patience possesses you so let your patience be known by all like ago kirereria gwaku komenyo ni andu othe that you even when things stands astray even if things stands against you you know and you believe that one day god will come and will move you out of the strange things that you are going through let us pray Thank you God because you're coming to fight for us. Thank you Jesus because of reminding us that when we stand with the truth and when Jehovah God we get betrayed because of you and just because of your sake you will come and fight for us. Jehovah God as we go out we pray Jehovah God that you may hold our hearts that Jehovah God you shall go before us that Jehovah Father you shall win our battles that Jehovah Father you will fight for us that Jehovah God you will light our ways that Jehovah Redeemer you will make everything possible that Jehovah God you will not make the hair of our heads lost Jehovah Redeemer we trust in you this day that Jehovah Father you are going to hold our hearts you are going to walk with us until we win for this we pray believing and trusting in your holy name amen may god be with you may god help you in everything that you do today don't fear don't fear that threats will turn against you because of proclaiming this god but always stand with the truth always stand with the faith and always say that god will always remain to be god may god bless you and may he walk with you in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen